Oh, you haven't seen the clip. Hang on, play the clip, but. It's been a long day. It has been a very long day, but it's also been a brilliant day. Today has been one of the only days I've actually managed to go out in 13 weeks. And when I mean go out, I mean like actually go somewhere that's open. Near my house, we have a zoo called Colchester Zoo. No, but me and some of the family decided to go and have a day out at the zoo. And it was pretty cool. So the day started out as normal, and obviously going to the zoo during a pandemic is a lot different than usually going to the zoo normally. Obviously there's precautions that have to be taken. I mean, there was lines along the floor, you know, limiting the amount of people who can get in at one time. All the staff members had the face protective masks on. We got into the park. It was surprisingly busy. There was quite a lot of people there. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, it was it was a cool vibe. Come on. Okay, let's get a new battery in you. Yeah, quite a lot of the exhibits are open, actually. Mainly of the outside ones. And there were signs everywhere telling you to keep two metres away. Also, they put lines in front of the windows. So it wouldn't make people lean up against them and put their hands in it again. And a way to spread the virus. Most enclosures were available to see, some of them were boarded off. Not much has changed since the last there. New markings were on the ground were implemented. And yeah, we ended up going round in circles about three times at one point. But it was still kind of cool. You know, at least I got to see animals. And then, surprisingly, probably the most biggest surprise of the day is that they were still running their train. So usually at the park, they have this van train thing. It's like, it's like a linked, yeah, it's so hard to explain. It's like a truck train it's like a uh, it's so it, i don't even know how to explain it it's a train on wheels basically it would take you around a part of the zoo and it would stop midway through and you can get out and you can walk through the lima part and then you get back on and you go back but they didn't do the stuff off part it was still kind of cool but i was very surprised they were still running it also another thing i noticed is that they open up loads of different pathways that weren't usually open so pathways that would usually be only accessible by staff um or some of the transportation to get around the park like behind the doors and it was really really well organized to be fair they'd done what they could obviously some people just didn't understand the one-way system in terms of you can follow the arrows follow the arrows and then you can avoid people but my highlight of the day was probably when we went to the otter habitat <laughs> they're usually quite active the otters but th this was another level they were just chasing after one of the zookeepers come up with with their food and chuck them fish and they would catch it with their two hands they would catch the fish the otters caught the fish it was kind of cool and they munched on the fish and it was very entertaining to see because it was scary, but in a cute way. The keeper did remind us that if we were gonna hug an otter, it would bite off our fingers, so. I mean, look at them, can you really say no, really? Do you, do you need your fingers? Let's think about it. Overall, it was a pretty solid day. Actually, no, it was more than that. It was a great day. And also, I got this very cool book. It, hang on, I got a cool book. What are you doing? You can speak, like, I'm not gonna kill you. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Thanks, Dad. I got a new book, and it's about David Attenborough. Do I need to explain? It's a, I can't wait to read it. But yeah, the day was pretty, pretty sick. I saw some cool animals. Fed an elephant. There we go. I, I saw deadly otters. I also saw some questionable things a monkey was doing. I don't know if I can talk about it. Let's just say it was questionable, and and it was really inappropriate for the monkey. I mean, you can't, I mean, to be honest, you know. There was kids around. Yeah, pretty awesome day. I'm downstairs. My wardrobes are being built at the moment, and um, I'm, I'm currently living in my living room. They don't call it a living room for nothing. I'm literally living in it. My desk is set up where the Christmas tree usually is, not the year-round Christmas tree. We do not have a year-round Christmas tree. The place where we usually put the Christmas tree, we usually put a spare seat. It's 
my desk. My my bed goes where you are now in terms of where the camera is. Not your own house, that's a bit weird. And all my stuff is down here. But it should be one more day. Tomorrow should be the last day of construction. And that would be the end of 12, 12 weeks. 13, 14 weeks. Even, I'm pretty sure more than that. I'm going to have to check back in my memories. It, it's been so long. Oh, I can't, you don't understand how much I can't wait to actually put my stuff away and actually hang up my clothes. Like, renovate my bedroom come at the worst time. It's been a very long journey, but they are looking sick. The wardrobes are looking sick. So, without further ado, thank you for watching the video. As always, if you really enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and also like the video. Comment what you want to see next, as well as checking out my... Oh, oh, f messed it up. I almost had it. Right, where was I? Subscribe. Subscribe, like the video, comment what you want to see. Check out my other videos, not the old ones. Don't go behind 2020, please. I beg of you. Just keep within 2020. That's the safe zone. And without further ado, I'll see you tomorrow. Get some sleep, please. If you're watching this at like 2 o'clock in the morning, I, I feel for you. Right, bada bing, bada boom. That's it.